In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We all have family. And we all have friends. Maybe some closer than others. But we do have family and friends. And many times we stop and think about those friends that we are so close to that we would do anything for, that we would drop everything if they needed something and do it for them. And we also have certain family members that if they called at 3 in the morning and they woke us up, but they needed something, we would do it because we know how close they are to us and how much they mean to us. And we also have friends and family who we might know that would do the same. That we know that if we were in any bind and if we needed something, they would drop something, everything, and to do what was necessary for us. Can we think of those friends and family in our lives that we have that type of relationship for? And if we do have those types of relationships and the people that you do think about, think about the reason about why you have that relationship with that person. Why are you so close to them? And why would you do anything for them and in like manner they would do anything for you? In this morning's Gospel reading, we see the first interaction and dialogue between Christ and His disciples. But it really isn't much. There is not a long dialogue of introduction. It is simply Christ approaching two brothers that He saw that were in the middle of fishing. And he said to them two words, follow me. And we read in today's Gospel reading that they immediately dropped their nets and followed Christ. And then we have a second pair of brothers who were mending their nets and they were with their father. And Christ said the same thing to them. They did not ask their father for permission. They did not ask why. But in the Gospel reading, it simply states, they immediately dropped their nets, left their father, and followed Christ. Now, in reading this passage, we must also think about this conversation. Because many times we forget it is not necessarily what Christ said, but the way in which He said it. Can you imagine Jesus Christ approaching you, the Son of God? The look that had to happen in His eyes and the authority but yet love that came from His voice that said, follow me. And the apostles immediately understood their relationship with Him. They immediately dropped their nets and followed Him. I have spent four years giving sermons and giving different messages from the Gospel. And if there is one message that all of you could remember from any of my sermons, it is this. We have to find a way, we have to find our reason why we love God. We have to understand why is it that we love God? 
Because if we think about those friends who would do anything for us, it is not out of fear. It is not out of obligation. We would drop everything for our family and friends because we love them. And this is the same reason the apostles immediately dropped their nets because they immediately understood their love for Jesus Christ. And oftentimes we forget or we don't think about the reasons in which we love God. And the beautiful thing about our personal relationship with Jesus Christ is that for everyone it is different. Our reasons in which we love God are very different. We have different personalities. We've had different upbringings. We have different backgrounds. But it is all of our responsibility to figure out and to always remember those reasons in which we love God. Because if we find that reason, and if we can instill into our children their own reasons why they love God, then our faith is transformed the question on whether or not to come to church is completely different. The question or not to be involved in the ministries of our faith and to educate ourselves and to always try to have knowledge about who we are as Orthodox Christians completely changes when we first understand why is it that we love God? And I challenge all of you to ask yourselves to possibly ask your spouse, to ask your children, why do we love God? Because when we come to that realization, we will do as the apostles did, and we will drop everything, and we will come to Jesus Christ. Amen.